Greetings and salutations to all my Zen tanglers out there. Boy, this is getting better and er and better er and better er as time progresses. I am having so much fun learning this stuff. I'm learning more and more and more, and it is amazing. I'm telling you, today what we're going to learn is, well, I've been playing with this. I've been just uh, playing with this, and you're going to love it. See that? Look how pretty that is. Do you see how pretty that is? This is called the Hannah Drum. And I just, I sent off two envelopes this morning with door prizes. And I even drew these on the back. Because I love these. And they look like, oh, I couldn't draw those. That's what I said first. And I said, oh. Oh my gosh, but then when I looked at the step out and seen how it was done and started it on my own, I said, holy smokes. See, here it is. The henna drum. The designer is Jane McCugler, and she is from Vermont. And so, oh my goodness, when she puts out the, um, the step out, you can see it's not a problem. We're going to get this one. Okay, so here we go. Here we go with this magical, magical beauty. Now, I got my little card here. And simple Simon Metapiment, I'm telling you. Let me make sure my pen works. Still haven't got them ones I ordered. This one doesn't work much good. This one isn't much good. Um... I don't know why they take so long to send me my things. When I order something, I think I should have it yesterday. Okay, now here, this one works better. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a swirly line. Just like this. And end it off the bottom. That's it. You start right there. Okay, now you start there. And then... I'm going to make some little branches off the swirly line. See how there's my swirly line first. And then I'm going to make some little branches. So I'm going to go off like this way. There's a little branch off of that side. A little branch off of this side. And a little branch there. Little branch there, put one down here. I got some of them swirling one direction, some swirling in another direction. I don't know if you're supposed to get them all in one direction, but I'm not worried about that. I'll put one right there too. Okay, once you get those little swirlies off of your first squiggly, swirlies off your squiggly, then go over here and make like a little spot. Just a little spot, like a half circle, and color it in. Right on them humps. Somewhere on the hump. Okay, oops, I'm going to put one. Should I put one down here? I think I'm going to put one down here. Okay, there's all my little little bumps on my humps of my swirlies that's on the squiggly. Now, now I'm going to aura around them. I'm going to just aura around them. The little, the little light, the little um, spots we put. I'm just gonna aura around them. That's making that little line, you know, like a little, just a little circular something. <laughs> this is so funny because when I was doing this earlier, I thought that, um, like here, it looks like a little nose and then his eye up there, like on a turtle or something. That's what I thought. Okay, now, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a three-humped heart. Okay, so like you're making a heart with three humps. Hump, hump, hump. That's a three-humped heart. See that? Three humped heart. Usually we make two humped hearts, but this is going to be three humped hearts. So, so they are going to go like 
one, two, three. See how that went down, how I did that there? That's like one petal of the flower. See, want three humps? Okay, and then make another three hump. Jump, 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 jump. And then there's a little bit more space before I get to that little branch thing. And so I'll just make a hump there, one hump. Okay, and I'm going to do that to all... You know what? I got kind of close to the edge, so but that's okay. Making my three humped hearts. And there we go. And then see on the side, that one there, it's only a two humped heart because I didn't have re room for three humps. Okay, so here, this one, this one's going to kind of go off the page some. Because I kind of made my little things kind of long. Oh. Now, all of them that I did turned out so pretty. Then I do this one and I make a goofball. It's, it's okay, though. I like goofballs. And then I'm making... Each one will get like three, three humped hearts. And then whatever fits on the edge. Just so you get the flower all the way down. The little heart things all the way down to the the little stem thingy. Magic. I got some meditation music playing in the background. But I, because I just love it. I don't think you can hear it though. I hope not. I mean, I, I, not that I hope not, but YouTube doesn't like music unless it's their own music. As far as I know, I don't know. They, I hear that you get like flagged or something. Now, see, I'm thinking, I made my, my little curly cues out a little long. I, I probably shouldn't have went out that far because then I don't have really space. This is why we learn together. See, I don't have enough. See, this one, yeah, this one, I had more space in there. Okay, anyway, where am I at? Oh, right here. Okay, now I got all my little three humped hearts done around my little thingy that looked like an eyeball. Now what you do, you go here and you go into them. Let me see if I can get you a little closer. Closer. No, not that. This way. Now I'm going to take my pen and I'm just going to um, whisk, like whisk, like this. I'm going to go whisk. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you, you're making like a little lines inside each one of those, but don't just draw it. Just go like swipe it up. So then it gets real pointy. If it goes off the edge of the flower, it's okay. And so you do that in each one of those three pointy, three humped hearts. And you just keep doing it until you get all of them done. Boy, I've got so much done. It's only 9 o'clock in the morning here at my house. And I've already got so much done this morning. I'm just so excited. Laundry done. I got packages mailed out. And I, well, I guess that's all I've done. But, um, and then played with this. And then doodled. Because actually doodling is my number one priority in every day. And, um, then everything is secondary, like laundry and that kind of stuff. 
I'm going to make some chicken and dumplings later. It's my cheat way of doing it, but nonetheless, I'm going to make it. I won't tell nobody. It's my cheat, my cheat way. There. Now I've got all my little lines. Like it makes it look like the petals of the flowers have got like somethings. Okay. Now what we want, see here, we want some of these little spindles, sprinkles, spindles, little tendrils. We want them out here and there and everywhere. So we're going to go like this. Just here and here. And they can just go from wherever you want them to go. In any direction you want them to go. And so, in which you just make a little line. And so then you get some of these in there. You just put them wherever you feel the need. And, um, and you get them in there. And then, and then what I like to do, as you can see here on this one, Ben, I just went to town on these things this morning. See how I kind of darkened up some of the stems going down. So wherever they, like they part there a little bit, I, um, I go in there and I just kind of like, where they fork off, see, just kind of darken them a little bit right there and give them some dimension. This here doodle is more like, to me, an art project. I mean, it is, even a doodle is art, but this one is like, I think, I just love this one. Once I did it once, I did a whole bunch of them. I just kept going with them. And so, and, and this is where you can really, really get into that Zen mode. And like I've had this meditation music playing in the background while I've been doing it. And my gosh. It's just, you get into that meditative mode. It's just, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. I love it. I just, this, since I began doing these, well, like I said, I did these years ago. I was doing Zen Tangle, but I just guess I didn't get it. It didn't quite Although I did a lot then, for some reason, I, I got away from it. And it didn't feel like it feels like now. You know? Okay, then I'm going to make, like, just little parts of my curves. Just put a little bit of dimension into my curves. I still think they look like turtle noses. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit of highlighting in those curves here and there. And it just, I just think that makes, when you do a little bit of highlighting in here, it just makes... It makes a difference. It just makes such a difference, and I like that. I'm go that part that goes off the page. I think I just want that to be a little bit more um, something. Okay, then I go with, now you can go with little orbs or little dots. I'm going to make little bitty orbs. See, I put here on this one just like three dots here, a few dots here, just some dots. This one I did too, just some dots. I'm going to go with little orbs, and I think I'm going to go like... Where should I put them? Um, because, see, then when you do that, you're adding just a little bit more of something. And... Um, So, 
so much fun. Oh, and listening to that music. Maybe you can hear it a little bit. I don't know. But I love it. I just love it. Okay, and now, let me see. I think I've got to do something more to this for some reason. I don't know what that reason is. But, but, um, oh, see, when I really just get into this, I can hardly even talk. I just can hardly talk because it is just so wonderful. I think I'm going to put little dots just at the end of each of those. I like my dots. I'm just at the end of each one of those little spiral things. Little dots. Let's go there. Now this is one that I... This is one that I love to color. Okay, so I'm going to color and just just a light. Uh, so with my colored pencil, and this is just a Crayola pencil, I'm going to color in the flower. Just with a pastel colored, and I'm just putting it pink. Just pink. So my flowers will be pink. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is so pretty. And so I'm just coloring in my flowers. Look at that. Those are pretty. And then what I'll do is I'm going to take my my um, pink Sharpie. It's like a brighter pink. And I'm going to go inside that little spot that we made, that aura area around the black. And so I'm going to just put them in. And I'm making them pink. This is one, you know, some we like just to be black and light. But this is one that I believe needs color. This just needs color. And um, it's like because they're so flowery and then I think that flowers just need some color. And so that's what I'm doing there. And then maybe I'm going to go to bring that color into the center a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and make just a few dots here to accent the center. There, look at that. I think that's beautiful. And, you know, as you look at it, then you'll say, oh, maybe I should. I kind of fill in those little V-shapes. I kind of like those kind of filled in and rounded. So they're not just a V-shape. They're just kind of rounded. I kind of like that. It, make, it makes a difference. And it's so pretty, just so pretty. I just think this is gorgeous. And then I want to show you, let's see. Now, like if you're one that likes to send out happy mail and that kind of thing, it's always more fun to send your happy mail out instead of just a plain envelope. I like to I like to decorate it and like my happy mail I sent out two this morning and I um hopefully the ladies that get them really like what I did because it's just so pretty to um and you can use the front side of your envelope for your art and just put the address on the back he doesn't matter but here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go down the edge and I'm just going to get my swirly like this just down the edge and then I'm going to 
get a few little swirlies out. Little squirk wigglies on my swirlies all the way down. There you go. Isn't that pretty just like it is? Okay, and then go with those little humps, little black humps. Put them on your little swirly juice. Get them little black humps. This makes a really pretty edge, I think. Very pretty edge. So beautiful. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and do that aura around the little humps, the little black humps. Put that little aura around the little black humps. Okay, and then I'm going to go, the next step is to do the three humpy hearts, three humped hearts. And so up, hump, 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 and back down. Okay. And then always then the next one I'll start right next to the one. The, I always start it in the middle. And then go down. Three humps and then go down. And there's still room there. Okay. So I go in the middle of there and I one, two, three humped heart. Three humped heart. And then there's still some room for two humps there and two humps there. And all of them will probably come out different. They won't be exactly the same. Because that's how they grow. Just like that. Mm, I smell campfire. That means that Papa's out there. Burning brush. Love the smell of campfire. The smell of a campfire, the sound of meditating music and doodling. How can life get any better than that? Plus the smell of the fabric softener in the, my clothes that are in the dryer. It makes life perfect. Life is perfect. And so I'm getting all the little, got one more up here. See, that one I didn't start in the middle because I was off the edge there. Like this. Okay, see there. Now, you know what? I feel like I need to have one more right here. So I'm going to put one right here. So I'm just going to add that as an afterthought. Okay, and then I'm going to put my little swipes, just little swipes, and, and do them that way. Get them just, you know, press down, then lift your pen up off the paper, you know, just, and then you get them little swipes in there, and then really give them petals some definition. Our Humpty Heart petals. I am finding, you know what I was doing, and I'm so happy for that I learned this, but I, um, I, I look at the comments below my videos, and I try to comment on them or at least show you that I read them. 
and by putting a heart and um, to thank you for the comment. And, but you know, and I was thinking, well, you know, I don't have that many people actually watching, but even though that there's just a few, I'm going to keep doing it because I enjoy it. But now I'm finding that I'm getting messages and emails from viewers that don't comment. They don't comment. And then they've told me, I watch them all the time. But you know, I understand that because when I watch a video on my phone, I don't can't figure out how to comment on it. I don't know how it works. And so I can only comment on videos that I watch from my computer. And then I know that I can, then I can comment on it. And so I am so blessed that I have people constantly watch more people than than I thought that are um, constantly watching and that just makes me feel good that makes me feel really good and so okay here so now I'm gonna go here so I thank you all all of you all of you that are watching that you don't comment I appreciate you so much I just want you to know you are so appreciated and I hope that you're getting so much enjoyment and so much, oh, I don't know, calming, whatever word I don't have here, so much serenity by, by doing these, by, by doing just a little doodle like this. And, and when you go by the step out in the, um, in the books or in the, um, in the, videos that you're watching or on Pinterest you can find a lot there are so many out there it's so calming it's just I you know and that's what we need we need calming we don't have to you know to worry about tomorrow or worry about you know some people they say oh I've got ten dollars but I wish I had 15 well this makes you grateful you got to 10 you know in and not wish for something you don't have because then you're concentrating on something you don't have, which would, can be sad. This here is such, it's like bliss. I don't even know how to describe it. But um, my one friend, I keep talking about my Erin. My one friend Erin, she is a hard worker. She is she is, she's got a lot on her mind. I mean, and she's a hard worker. She's a truck driver. She is just amazing. But she has caught on to doing Zen Tangles, and it's like she is constantly drawing. And I'm amazed she hasn't figured out how to draw while she's driving. But, you know, I, I listen to her and listen to the things that she has to say. And, um... And, and because she's got such a busy life, so busy, and like I said, she's a truck driver. And like yesterday, she was driving out there in that pouring rain. And that's, you know, it's it's stressful job for truck drivers, you know. And, um, and to see her comments and to see because she sends me pictures of the things that she's done and um and and it's if there it's it's so therapeutic to watch to see what she's done gives me even more more drive or something to to do I wonder what I did with my picture here. Gives me, she has taken, like this here, I was, um, this is just the image that was in a coloring book, and so I made a copy of it. I'm not done with this yet. But she has done these things and um, just filled them in with centangles. So I started doing that because she did it, and I thought hers was beautiful. And I'm going to continue that. And so how... We learn from each other is amazing. So, 
so you are always the teacher and the student both. Not that I think I'm much of a teacher, but I just want to be, I want to be an enabler. That So I en en enable you to do, you know, doodling is something all you need is a piece of paper. And, and use your junk mail. You can doodle on your junk mail and use that paper. I want to show you something else too. Okay, so there I have that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and color these ones in. I'll use, I'm going to use my um, orange. What is this? Oh, this is a Crayola pencil too. And when you, when you have your um, pencils, colored pencils, you don't even need anything fancy. These are Crayola and they color just fine. You don't have to have them top name, name brand pencils. You just need the color. You don't need to have the top name brand pens. You don't have to have the top name brand nothing. And look how pretty these are. And I love it. Now, once they're colored, gosh, if you could just feel my soul right now. Man, I wish... I, I hope you all do uh, just my soul, my spirit feels so good right now. So calm. So I, it's just, how do you even describe it? It's so beautiful. So beautiful. I hope you can hear the music just a little bit. I don't want to turn it up too much because I think, I'm not sure, but I think that YouTube would flag my... Let, okay, I want to find an orange. This one will work. And I'm going to color in that inside. Just make that, just so it's still that peachy color. And it's so pretty. And see here, I went the long way, you know, just a long way. Instead of filling up a square card, I filled up, look at, I didn't even color that one right there. I got to color that one. I bet you all noticed that. But you all was screaming behind the scenes, say, excuse me, you forgot one, which was this one right here. Right here. Okay, and then I want to show you something, just give you an, a little, a oh, you know what I want to do too? I'm going to get my green Sharpie out. And I'm just going to make just a couple of little green tendrils coming right out from behind the flower. Because this is just one that I think just shouts for color. And to make them tendrils, I just kind of go out and swirl and go out and swirl the other way. Like that way. Just like that. Okay, so now I could go on it some more and maybe do a little shading and do a little bit more of the making some of the lines bold. But I want to show you a little trick. Now, the way I wrote my word here, I wrote believe. And a lot of people say, I don't like my handwriting. I don't know how to do this kind of thing. So I'm not even going to try. Okay, I'm going to write, I'm going to show you how I do this. Was this the pen I was using? I hope so. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, watch what I do. This is what I do. This makes such a pretty print. I'm going to write believe. B E L I E V E. Okay, and that's believe. Hopefully that's right. I always get my E's and I's mixed up. Is it supposed to be I E V? I don't know. I think that's right. But then I go and I'm gonna do it again. But I'm not going to go, I'm gonna go trace right over it, but I'm not going to I'm gonna just do it quickly. I'm gonna do it very quickly. B E L I E V E. I just went over it a second time. Now 
you can see where all the spaces in between, even though you did the, even though you, um, you went quickly over the second printing, now you see them spaces. Now go color in just them spaces. Some you won't get much of a space. And you just go color in those spaces. I love the word believe. Believe is a good word. Another f word that I love is faith. Man, that was, you dig into that word faith. Oh my gosh. And it does not have to be anything even to do with religion and Christianity. Faith is such an amazing word. You have faith in yourself. But see now, when I'm coloring in those spaces that I made by just going over my word a second time, and look how pretty that turned out. It is so pretty. Now this, this is, I'm going to do a little bit more on that one. Uh, I think like um, just maybe a little bit more fill in and stuff here and get, make my lines, lines a little smoother. I just had my glasses on top of my head. I don't know why. I just didn't even think to put them on my face because whole oh, how many Wearing, if you got glasses, you know, wear them. It's, it makes a big difference. I start seeing, having double vision after a while, and I think, why is that happening? But, um, yes, you can just keep playing along with this. I've got so many. I have just had so much fun with this. Okay, I'm not going to keep you any longer, really, because I know you're busy, and you all have things to do. You have doodling to do. And so let me read you something. I'm going to read you something about Someone Cares. Someone Cares, The Collected Poems of Helen Steiner Rice. I'm going to read something. Um, let's see. Okay, here's one. Oh, glasses. Now, strangers are friends we haven't met. God knows no strangers. He loves us all, the poor, the rich, the great, the small. He is a friend who is always there to share our troubles and lessen our, lessen our care. No one is a stranger in God's sight, for God is love, and in his light, may we too try in our small way to make new friends from day to day. So pass no stranger with an unseeing eye, for God may be sending a new friend by. And there you all are. And I know I've got friends on the other side of this camera, and maybe some new ones that I'm just meeting today. And thank you for being here. Thank you for following along. And I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make, and bring you back safely and healthy to the next video. God bless. Look at all these. I'm telling you, I love this. I love this. Okay. God bless you all.